Welcome back. I hope everyone has had a great week. Okay, so I ran across a comment in my lie to video that got me thinking. A viewer asked, is the Xbox app available on Linux? I use Game Pass on my laptop. That's actually a great question and something I hadn't really thought about much. When I want to play something on Game Pass, I typically just fire up my Xbox. But I realize a lot of people don't have an Xbox or they work or travel quite a bit and use their laptop for gaming. So thanks to Keith for the question and I did do a little digging and came up with hopefully an answer that you and others might find somewhat helpful. I put together a quick how-to guide for setting up your Linux laptop with xCloud Gaming, complete with controller support. Before diving in, I want to take a moment and explain that as of now, I am unaware of any way to install Game Pass games directly on your Linux machine due to the incompatibility of Universal Windows Platform and Linux. At least, this is my current understanding. However, all is not lost. As you'll see, we can use Game Pass through Cloud Gaming, or xCloud. Of course, the quality of the gameplay is going to depend heavily on your internet connection. So if you have a solid connection, it should work just fine as you'll see, with the exception of the infrastructure Microsoft has in place to support cloud gaming. This should be a fairly short video, but I hope it does help a few folks out who are new to Linux and are trying to figure this out. Again, great question, because it gave me the opportunity to do a little research and learn something new. As always, I will put links and commands in the description below. And for a quick summary, Basically what we're gonna do is we are going to install Microsoft Edge. Chrome will work too, by the way. Do a little configuring to our Edge browser, input a terminal command that will allow us to use our controller with Microsoft Edge, and we'll test a couple of games. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's dive in. So the first thing we wanna do is install the Microsoft Edge. We can do this three ways. First is through the pop shop. So just go up to your search and type in Microsoft, and it should populate as one of the first options. And there it is. Click on that and then click install. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do a different method. So the second method is to go to Microsoft's website and download the DEB file. So I'll post the link in the description below. But you're going to scroll down until you see Microsoft Edge is now available on Linux and then select the .deb if you're using Ubuntu or POP. And wait for it to finish downloading. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and close out of this and then go to our downloads folder. And once there, right click on the package and then open with Eddie. Then you can click install. Again, this is a DEB file. We're going to install the flat pack and we're going to use the terminal, which is my preferred method. So we're going to type in flat pack if I can type flat pack install Microsoft Edge and then hit enter. And I'll put this command in the description below as well. Select option one for the stable version, and then select option one again. And then hit yes, continue, and then wait for the installation process to complete. It may take a moment or two. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out of our terminal. And let's go to Microsoft Edge. Now you can drag and drop this wherever you want it. Um, some people prefer to put it on the dock. I'm gonna put it in my gaming folder. So I'll go ahead and open it up. We are now going to configure this to open directly to the Xbox Cloud Gaming page. So go down to settings, go to appearance, scroll down to where it says home buttons, set home button URL, and then I already have this set, but I'll put the link in the uh, description below. When I click on add new page, paste the URL in, hit add. I already have it added, so I'm not gonna do it again. And then down below, I recommend also show home button on toolbar, turn that on, and then set your home button to xbox.com. Uh, for the um, cloud service as well. And close out of this. Then we'll go back into Microsoft Edge and it should open up directly to our our cloud gaming page. And it does. Then go ahead and log in. I'm already logged in. I've tested this earlier today. All right, so now we need to configure our controller. So this command will be down in the description below. So simply paste this command and then hit enter. 
and we're good. So now Microsoft Edge will detect our controller. So we're gonna exit out of your terminal and let's give this a shot and see how it looks. Applications, gaming, Microsoft Edge. Should take us directly to our cloud page and it does and we're already logged in. Now you're gonna get this error. Um, your it does detect your controller. Just hit the A button on your controller and I don't know why that error pops up, but um, it works fine. So you'll notice here that this is ridiculous. A trillion dollar company and don't have the infrastructure to support cloud services. I mean, it's pretty bad. So let's try Monster Hunter, see how that works. My favorite franchise of all time. In fact, I've got over a thousand hours in Rise on my Switch. Let's just Rise. I'm actually afraid to calculate how much time I have in Try, GU, World, and Rise. So I sped this up a little bit, but but it took about the same amount of time to load in as it does on my Switch. So we'll go ahead and hop in here and just kind of see how it plays. I created an account um, earlier earlier today when I was working on this video. So just messing around, I didn't put any effort into my character model or anything. Like I said, I primarily play on my Switch and it's unfortunate Capcom won't give us the option to transfer our save files. I'm even willing to buy the game again if I could transfer my save files. But Capcom is not interested in that. Welcome. So it seems to run okay. Pretty smooth. It kind of feels a little bit choppy. Not as smooth as it does on PC or Switch. And by PC, I mean through through the Steam app. Yeah. But it, it is serviceable. It is playable. And by the way, you can go to full screen by just hitting F11. And you can go out of full screen by hitting F11 as well, so just keep that in mind. Last but not least. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is playable. It, it, it does seem a little bit laggy. It just kind of feels a little sluggish, I guess, but it's not broken. I do have gigabyte internet speed, so... If you have slower speed, you might get more lag. But so far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to keep the video as short as possible, so I think I'm just going to edit the rest of this out and then go to the next game. Alright, so for the next game up, let's try Siege again. I hope we can connect this time. been playing Siege since launch, and I'm not very good at it, but it's a lot of fun. Try a quick match here just to see how it goes. I'm not going to show off my MLG skills. I just want to show you that it works and, and give you my honest opinion on how the gameplay feels. Is this Favela? I haven't played Favela in forever. You know, the load times feel about the same as it would on Xbox, which is typically what I play on. You ready to engage off four? Not too bad. It seems a little smoother than Monster Hunter Rise. Let's throw some cameras out randomly. Alright. The graphics, you're not going to get 4K, obviously, since you're streaming. But they're serviceable. The movement feels okay. Doesn't feel too sluggish.
And it looks like we've got a fuse. I think that was fuse. Oh, apparently it was. All right, get out of here. Yeah, so far so good. Ash. Game. I have a ping of nine, but it does not feel like a ping of nine. All right, so yeah, it works pretty good. It's playable. Again, it, it looked like I had a ping of nine, but it did not feel like I had a ping of nine. All right, let's just get out of here and wrap up the video. So the queue times and some of the lag issues are not Linux related. That's the server. So Windows users experience the same, the same issues as well as Xbox users. Anyway, I hope this video helped. And if it did, please leave a like and a comment. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.